I already mentioned from my other videos that I am preparing for CompTIA Security Plus certifications. Exam number SY0601. However, there is an upcoming new version. Exam number SY0701. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the two versions and which version is the right for you. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. I am at this page www.comptia.org slash training slash resources slash exam objectives. And this is where you can view Comptia exam objectives. For Security Plus, we have two versions. And let's open both. So I'm gonna right click and uh, choose open in a new tab. So we have now both exam number SYO601 and exam number SYO701. Both exam objectives are in PDF versions. All right, so let's take a look first at 601 exam version or exam number. So as I scroll down, you will see here that this exam has a maximum of 90 questions, 90 minutes, and passing score is 750. And uh, under exam objectives, we have five domains. The first domain is attack threats and vulnerabilities, 24%. Architecture and design, 21%. Uh, implementation, 25%. Operations and incident response, 16%. Governance, risk, and compliance, 14%. So this total of 100%. Now, let's have a little review on these domains. So the first domain is threat attacks and vulnerabilities. So this is where many different vulnerabilities attacks are introduced from phishing, vishing, farming, whaling, uh, hoax, and uh, social engineering attacks. All of these are, yeah, talk about here. Um, also, different types of malwares, password attacks, physical attacks, and many others. So these are like basic concepts. Um, they talk about what is worm, what is Trojan, what are the different web application attacks, such as injections, cross-site scripting, um, etc. Even buffer flows and directory traversal are also introduced here as well. Um, so it's not just web application based, it's it's also uh, introducing network based attacks, okay? Both wireless and even switching layer two attacks as well. And uh, what else do we have? Well, they also talk about different threat actors, um, security, associated with various types of vulnerabilities like zero day third party risk etc so basically the main one is pretty straightforward it's just attacks threats vulnerabilities now as we move to architecture and design this is more on the technologies involved with uh, cybersecurity. so this is where we introduce uh virtualization okay cloud models what what are the different cloud models such as IIAS, uh, PaaS, SaaS, etc. And uh, we also talk about data protections and under data protections, we have DLP, encryption, masking, etc. Uh, some of the common terminologies such as uh, site resiliency, uh, what else? Hashing, configuration management, and so forth. Now, I would say this domain is more of introduction with uh, technologies such as networking systems like virtualization, as I mentioned. It also talks about uh, application terminologies and concepts as well, such as development, test, QAs. Uh, they introduce OWASP as well. And uh, yeah, they also talked about automation and scripting here. Okay, what else do we have? A little of IAM, not so much, um, details, but they introduce MFA. They talk about uh, many different authentication methods, biometrics, and so forth. 
and uh, like what I mentioned, um, this domain uh, talks about um, network excuse me network terminologies. So I am expecting that uh, infrastructure related discussions and concepts are also included. Okay, such as networking. What else? Backups, high availability, and many others. Now, oh, I forget to mention that physical security control is also part of the domain two. Now, for domain three, I would say this is more of, um, I don't want to say technical, but a little more advanced of domain two. Let's say a continuation of domain two, where we talk about protocols, use cases, we talk about hardening our infrastructure. So database hardening, um, date, um, application security, which, which uh, considered hardening of applications. What else do we have here? Uh, we have self encryption drive, sandboxing. And this is where we also introduce many different uh, infrastructure platforms, such as load balancing, uh, network segmentation is also introduced here, VPNs, NAC or network admission control. Sometimes we call it network access control, network appliances, and even layer two um, security concepts such as port security is also uh, talked about here. Firewalls and many different types of features under firewalls is here. Uh, many different kinds of firewalls as well, such as next generation, stateful, WAF, etc. What else? Some of the features of firewalls such as route security, ACL is also introduced under this module. Okay, and many others, as well as wireless and mobile security solutions. Okay, now I would say that this domain is more of like uh, CCNA security or the old CCNA security, where we um, introduce many different platforms that can be secured. Okay, routers, wireless access points, load balancer, firewalls, etc. And uh, this part here is more of authentication and authorization. And that's it for domain three. Domain four is operation and IR. And basically, I would say this is more of a direction of SOC or Security Operation Center, where reconnaissance and discovery are introduced. What else? Packet capture, forensic, okay, attack frameworks such as MITRE attack, cyber kill chain is also uh, added. What else? Tools that we use in a SOC environment such as CM, syslog, log files, metadata, netflows, sflows, etc. Okay. What else? We also have SOAR. Um, and under SOAR, we have both runbooks and playbooks. We have configuration changes for many different appliances and then and security technologies such as firewalls, DLP, URL filtering, etc. What else? Uh, these are some digital forensic concepts and um, terminologies as well. Okay. And lastly, the main five is governance, risk, and compliance. So this is where we introduce uh, frameworks, okay, regulatory bodies as well, such as NISST, uh, ISOs, um, CIS, PCI, DSS, GDPR, HIPAA, is it here? It doesn't matter. So, so th these are the regulatory bodies that is um, discussed and covered under the main five. So think about the main five as more on cybersecurity management, leadership, and creating policies. So uh, the policies of organization security is all here, such as personnel, credential policies, organization policies, etc. So I, I would say this is less technical, more management, more on strategies. So that's it for CompTIA Security Plus SYO. 601 exam. Check out the next video to know what's new in SYO 701 exam.